Hey guys, this is Faye from Face World Media. And in this video, I want to talk to you about how to create a holiday campaign for your products, your brand. I want to showcase Xiangli art and a physical product, but you can literally use it for anything you like. First, I'm going to go into Printful and download a couple of mockups featuring Xiangli art. This is our Panda clutch bag. And you have the choice of JPEG and PNG. Just for the showcase, I want this to be higher quality, so I chose PNG. Now we're going to come back into Adobe Express. We want to make sure everything's on brand. So here I'm going to the three dots here. Let's start from scratch. Let's create a brand. When you click on create brand, you're going to see these two drop downs. You can manually set it up or you can extract brand from upload. So I'm going to use this painting right here as the starting color palette. It is a signature piece has a lot of colors and we're going to decide what resonates. These are the primary colors. You can click on view all. Now, if you don't like that and you prefer a different painting or asset, you can do that as well. For now, I'm going to say this is Xiangli Art. Her logo is black and white, which is straightforward. So we're going to save this right now and view all colors. Let's click on edit. If there are additional colors you want to add, for example, for us, definitely there's a white color. I also want to add a pretty straight up black color here as well. Another color that's prominent on her website is this green color. I'm going to go ahead and just page right here. All right. Very earthy tone as you can see. And once you hit enter, that's it. This is our color palette. Now that is saved. You can also upload a logo if you want to. All right. Here are our colors. Now, what we can do is create social assets. Just as I mentioned, holiday assets, and I'm thinking about specifically Instagram posts. So I'm going to do Instagram portrait post and holiday. How about that? So now you can see these are templates, photos, and videos associated with the holidays. So I can click on view all to see if there's a variety of assets that might work for what I'm trying to create, which is basically advertise and share her merch. If you're working with products, some of these photo collages can work really well. I actually find this to be really interesting. I'm going to customize this. So in this case, I'm not going to use Santa. I will be using an asset from Stanley Art. This, by the way, has a little bit of an animation going on. You can do this very quickly. I can do a rewrite if I want to. Let me move this out of the way. I'm just gonna store.xiangliart.com. Done. We don't need a link. And I can move this thing back. I can even resize it if I want to. All right. I don't need Santa here. I'm gonna write a little bit of copy and then check it out. Even before I do anything, I can go into brand because we created the Xiangli Art brand. I can click on apply brand. You see, Instantly, it's a different shade of green. It's one of the beige colors. For example, if you decide you like green, but you don't really like this color, you can fill in a lighter color so it can stand out more. Next, we're going to drop in the mockups I downloaded from the print on demand companies that we work with, and that is Printful. Let's go ahead and download the mockups. It's exciting. Check it out. We're about to have some fun. Wow, it fits almost perfectly, to be honest. We can resize her. Now you can click on this image and we can apply different effects. You can, of course, use these Gen AI features as well, even insert objects. But let me show you some of the basics. You can make it pop. Look at that. A little drop shadow, a little bit of a lift, a little bit of a glow. I kind of like that. You can change the color into white if you want to make her pop even more and feature this little bag. Now, a lot of you don't want to write copy. When you click on these templates, we wish you the word of peace and love the holiday season. If you want to rewrite that, click on rewrite and you have different options. You have a rephrase, shorten, lengthen, inspirational. So rephrase, we can say generate and you don't have to do anything else and then choose one of these options. There's another option if you want to write this from scratch. All you have to do is go into the text and add your text. Give the gift of wearable art by traditional artists this season, this holiday season. It's not the best written thing, but what I can do is click on rewrite again and I can say rephrase and make it sound more personal. Let's see. 
share the joy of wearable art from traditional artists like that. You just click on replace and there you have it. I can make further changes. Share, share unique gifts created with love. And by the way, I noticed it's a little bit empty here. And what I'm going to do is have a zoomed in version of this purse. This image, as you can see, has already a transparent background, but if not, you can easily remove the background by using the edit feature, remove background. Okay. So you may be wondering, how can we take this to the next level? First, I want to preserve this design so I don't ruin it. I'm going to click on action and duplicate, create different variations of people basically carrying this purse and it'll be super cute. And what I'm going to do is I will remove the copy so I can play with this image and change it into something different. I'm going to go into generative AI on the left hand side. And since all we need are images, we're going to click on generate image. But remember, you can also generate video template and even text effect. Click on generate image. I know I want something like portrait view and let's have some fun with it. The model I like to play with currently is Gemini 2.5 flash image, which is also known as nano banana. And now you need a reference image describes the image. All right. So let me create an Asian female model carrying the same panda clutch in her hand. You can turn on the suggestion prompt or turn it off. It'll tell you how many credits you're using. What I can also do is simply upload an image of just the purse and then what's going to put it on a model. I'm going to show you that next. Look at that guys. Now I can use this image. Great. Apply image. Now we have a slightly different model. I'm going to generate another one. Let's do a same size, generate image portrait again. This time I'm going to use a different reference image. Let's use that one. What do you think? Because the school started a month ago, I want to create an image of a college student carrying this panda clutch in her hand, in her hands, walking, walking on campus. All right, let's click on generate, see what we got. You will notice just how easy it is to create these holiday campaigns with a single image and being able to generate different assets. Let's apply image. Now that it's time to share, you have an asset optimized for Instagram, but you might want to share it on Facebook. You might want to create, let's say a square image for whatever reason you need to resize it, click on resize. And now you're able to resize for multiple platforms and different orientations. So I'm going to choose a square pose so you can see what's going on. Now, if you want to go from a square, like a small, smaller assets into a bigger asset, like a square asset into a portrait one. Just remember that there is a checkbox you can use for future reference. You can expand the image. It's going to fill in the missing parts. Since we don't need that right now, I'm going to leave it alone and let's take a look at what a square asset looks like. Look at that. You literally have this asset ready to go. So I absolutely love just how easy it is to use. So let's go back to the portrait one we created for Instagram. And now what I want to show you is simply click on share. You now have the ability to share directly on Instagram. Not only that, I'm going to show you how to prepare social copy without writing too much as well. If you're using this feature for the first time, you will notice that you don't have any of these channels connected like the way I do. So what you need to do is click on open connections. You're able to choose from any of these platforms. What's even better is for each of the platforms, you will be able to connect three different accounts as opposed to a single one. So as you can see, we're good here. I'm going to go back and this one, we're creating it for Stanley art store. You can also add additional images and you can get rid of the duplicate. Next, you want to choose the Instagram post type. You have the option to choose post reel or story. And because we created for the post, we're going to stick with that here. You can add a caption. I can even repeat literally discover her failed one of a kind, or you can say discover unique designs and wearable art by Xiang Li art gift something special to the ones you love. Click on generate. You can generate new caption, rewrite, short, or lengthen. I'm generating new captions because I wrote very quickly without too much thoughts. Look at this wearable art, unforgettable gifts. You can insert it right away. If you don't like what you can say, generate again, you can put in your first comment, speak from the heart, surprise your loved ones and click on insert. That's it. 
give the gift of wearable art. I like that's actually a broader category as well. So not just shirts and pants, but purse is essentially a wearable art. So if you like everything you've seen so far, you want to publish that. All you have to do is click on publish now, but you can create as many as you want and schedule months, even years into the future. You can mention other pages and profile, and this is super helpful. Instead of saying explore Jiangli art, I want to spell it out, but I also want to mention this account. Like that's it. Whenever you want to insert a social mention, ready, click on publish now. Your post is being prepared. You can view everything in the calendar as well. This is like a little preview here. Very cool. It was a grid view, but you can look at your week. You can look at your month. Very cool, isn't it? Let me know what you have learned through this video. And I would love to see your creations and how you use Adobe Express to better your holiday campaigns. Mm -hmm.